Hi all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our deeper dive into APT. Uh, today we're going to be looking at manual backlash measurement using a Bartonov mask and APT's Bartonov aid. Now I think that this may be the most accurate way to measure your backlash though I'm waiting for a clear night so I can compare it with uh, things like uh, autofocus aid and that and compare which ones give the best result. Now generally with focus motors the backlash will be almost the same in both directions so you can really get away with just measuring backlash in one direction and that'll let you know about what it is in both directions but they can be a couple of steps off and I've got a bit of a clear sky tonight not the best conditions for doing this but it let me run through it so people can see how it works and I actually measured it in both directions and I found there was about one step difference so that's not going to make much difference when it comes to focusing in that but you can do both and whether you do both or do one that's up to you but here's a video I made a little bit earlier I hope it's helpful to people and you can uh, use it to your advantage okay so here I am in uh, APT as you can see I've already got a star selected and my Bartonov mask on um, this is actually serious. I'm using my HA filter for this because it's so close to the moon I you know, find it good anyway. So I've got no stretching on or anything simply because Sirius is such a blight star anyway. Um, I'm using live view and it's taking its settings from down here. So they're about one second exposures I'm taking at the moment, which is a good sort of time. Actually, I might put that up just a touch. 1.1. Yeah, big change. Um, so that's what I'm doing there at the moment. Um, the first thing you might want to do is go into your settings. Okay, and the important thing here is to go to your scope and focuser and make sure there is nothing in this backlash section. Uh, you don't want an inwards move. You don't want any backlash settings. Just make sure it's all clear. And so that's fine for me. And then the next thing you might want to do is go to your uh, focuser settings and do the same thing go to in my case I go to advanced and there's backlash but whatever your focuser you're using uh, just find if there's any backlash setting and make sure it's not there and then click OK or close it or whatever okay I'm almost on focus um, but I don't want to be on focus anyway at the moment so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be measuring the outward backlash first and because it's outward backlash everything up until the time I want to come back and measure that is going to be an inwards move so the very first move I need to make will be out to get the star out of focus but after that every move I make will be inwards until I reverse it to actually get back on focus after I've got focus so I might take this out a fair way um, I might go out a thousand oh. So I'll need to go out the first one. So I go out a thousand. The star is going to go well out of focus, like so. And then I'm going to come back in 950. Okay. So I'm not going to be right on focus. I probably won't be anywhere near on focus, really. But um, oh, sorry. Now I'm using my luminance filter. There you go. I thought I was using my HA. I'm not going to change it now. <laughs> This is going too well. It's looking good in there, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so once I've done that, go to your tools, open up your Bartonov aid, and put the cross over about the center of the star. Like so, hit the recalc button. So every time a new image comes up, it will recalculate how far off you are. So that's, yeah, as I said, a fair way off. Um, so every move from now until I, after I get focus, will be inwards. Don't want any more. Don't want any outwards at the moment. So I'm going to change my step size here, and I'm going to come in 50. I could probably, knowing my focuser and how it works, I could probably come in 200 steps from there, uh, or at least 150. But if you're not sure, don't rush it. Take it easy. So I'm just going to be coming in 50 steps at the moment. As you see, it didn't make a huge difference here. I probably could have done 150 easy. But I'm happy to do it this way. So it's still a long way off focus. I'm going to go in another 50. Now the sky conditions here aren't good at all. 
so it's figures will we end up jumping around a bit which makes it difficult to get this right um, but I'm just going to try and do the best I can this isn't going to be my final one this is just one to show you guys how it works okay I'm still a fair way off so I'm going to come in another 50 okay that'll be my last 50 move because I'm getting closer so you need to let it settle down after a few minutes uh, for a, not a few minutes just you know 20 or 30 seconds and just see what it's doing so I'm pretty close to focus you know if you're normally focusing just to image I'd stay on this one but I'm just not quite there um, I didn't realize I'd get that close in one hit and that's because of the sky jumping around so I'm going to move in one step and the idea is you want to straddle the zero point you want to get some on the negative side some on the positive side and uh, you know a few maybe in the middle okay so zero bit the other side but you really need to let it sit once you get close like this if you've got bad sky conditions like I have it can jump around quite a bit um, so I'm just tossing up whether to go in one more uh, see that's what you want but see yeah. and then it goes a big one out I might actually take this one as being in focus just because it's it's so close and really the sky conditions here aren't that good so what you need to do now is take note of your um, current focus of position which in my case is uh, what is it four six eight three which is fine and now you want to do one more big inwards move okay so I'm gonna actually go inwards about a thousand okay and this will be the last inwards move you make all from now on so to measure the backlash for the for the, uh, the outwards move you need to go inwards first so there I am I've gone out a thousand now the user guide tells you to come back the same amount I find it better to not quite I'd rather creep in a bit more so I'm going to come back in oh, even 975 so not quite the full way so now all my moves are going to be out so click on the outwards button and away it goes let that get back into focus close to focus okay so I'm glad I did that one okay from there I already know I can probably do another 50 um, but I won't actually I'll do a 25 just in case remember outward moves only so you don't want to go shooting past your focus point again okay as you can see that's exactly the same focus point I had last time 4683 but the focus is still well off on one side um, I can easily get another 25 in there I reckon so I'll go in another 25 and just let it settle down for a few frames okay so I might go change this now and start going in in 10 steps like I said I'm taking my time don't rush it don't be afraid to take really small steps if you're worried about overshooting so outwards again by 10 steps and see what that does you can see the sky conditions when it goes from 18 to you know almost 60 it's it's definitely not good conditions okay I'm going to change down and I'm going to start doing five steps now uh, I might get a couple of them in before I need to change 16 38 13 26 okay so I think it's time now to start doing really small steps I'm going to start stepping in by stepping out I should say by one but getting closer to focus by one so again continue outward okay so I'm just gonna to need to watch this one for a minute I mean I think that's pretty good if conditions were stable that wouldn't have been a bad result uh, because conditions here aren't the atmosphere is very turbulent I'm hoping there's no clouds going across making this harder for me 
looking at my guiding there probably is okay so I'm going to go in another step or oh, out another step I should say uh, okay so I need to watch this for a bit <clears throat> I hate it when it shows you right on then it'll pop right out again that's what makes it hard that's why you really need to do this on a very stable stable night um, yeah, certainly without the high humidity, out, without clouds that I've got. Uh, okay, I'm going to chance another one. Let's see how it goes. Well, like I said, you've got to wait and be careful um, because it may jump around a lot. It's getting there, but it's still mostly on the positive side. It's not really getting into the negative side at all. Yeah, so I think that's just a little bit off. So I'm going to go in another step. Let's see what happens here. Uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. This is what's going to take longest in this video, is waiting for it all to settle down again. <laughs> Uh, come on Sky, cooperate. Okay, I'm going to go in just a little bit again. Just another, or oh, out I should say, just one more step. See what happens this time. Come on, be nice to me. And of course, to measure your inward backlash is exactly the opposite of this and you can actually start from the results you've got here so uh, it's not playing with me it's being silly I'm just gonna have a quick look uh, there's not a lot of real bad cloud out there you can just see if you watch the imaging you can see some light cloud blowing across which is what's affecting the numbers so yeah I'm gonna go in one more step oh, out one more step I should say just to try and get those figures straddling this zero position minus five Yeah, probably another step outwards. I'm getting a long way from it. 47 steps at the moment. It's just starting to get a few on the other side. I mean, if you get a nice even one each side, it'd be nice if it did that continuously. I mean, I'd be happy, you know, with those 15s. If I got sevens each sides or whatever, sixes each sides, I'll be happy. But it's uh, maybe one more, one more out. Remember, I'm still going outwards here, uh, and I have been since I reversed direction. Another outwards one. So I'm currently, what am I? F 50? Yeah. 50 steps of backlash so far. I mean, like I said, I don't know how accurate this is going to be because of the sky conditions, but. One more. One more. Come on. Yeah, this. Sorry, this is taking a bit long, but just so you understand what's going on. I mean, you could stop here because you've realised what's going on, don't you? You ain't silly. Okay. 
Okay, one more. We'll go in another one. So currently that's 52 steps. Minus four. Let's let this run. See what I think I'd, I'd settle for that. That's going to be my count. Um, as you can see, just a little bit each side of it. So obviously the sky's settled down a little bit. So then you simply record your four seven your your steps four seven three five, and then it's just a case of uh, subtracting one from the other. So if you subtract your first position, uh, where's my calculator gone? Over here. If you subtract your first position from the second position, so the first position is 4683 and minus 4735. Okay, so a negative number will be your outwards uh, backlash. So mine here has come up as 52 and that's my out. And you can actually use this position you've got now as the start position for measuring your inwards backlash if you want to do that as well so your start position will be 4735 and like we did before I'm going to move a thousand outwards rather than inwards this time so 1000 because I've been moving out I want to keep moving out so I'll go out that thousand steps and then I'll come back in again 950 so I'm just going to pull up short of getting back to where the same point was. Okay, so now from now on, I've done all my outs. Everything's got to be inwards. So move that in. And we'll have a look and see. As you can see, it's still a fair way off. Um, I know I can get a 50 in there, so I'll do a 50 again. So this will actually take it back to the original number on the position so remember now we're all inwards okay so that's the 4735 we started with as you can see we're still well off focus again so I'm going to cut this down to well I'm just going to put in five but I'm going to use the five times step to to move it in 25 so I'm coming in 25 Okay, so we're getting closer now and out again and in again and out again and in again. Okay, so now I'm going to move I think fives will be too small. I might try tens. I might come in a ten and see how that goes. So just let it sit here for a few images. Okay, that's still well out, so I'll come in another 10. And remember, all these are inwards towards the focus point. And that's what we want right now, because we're measuring the inwards backlash. Okay, 26, 23. Okay, now I'll cut back to fives. It's jumping around a bit, but that's okay. I can deal with it. You guys might not be able to take because they're making the video longer, but this is what I need to do. Uh, very close there. Oh, then, well, that's interesting. It shot off the other side a long way that time, and I didn't really move it. Ah. Uh. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, so it's not quite in there yet. It's almost there. Um, I think we start ones now. And again, inward moves of one. I mean, I don't think at the moment it's going to make much difference. Okay, I'll go another one. Okay, so this is looking more like what we wanted. As you saw, just nipped over the other side, so we're almost there. Uh, 
that's looking not too bad Now that's that's about what you want. See, it's just going between negative and positive, just that little bit, and it's going to shoot off in a minute because you know a cloud's going to come over or something. But I would consider that to be the new focus point there, yeah, point nine, point ten, instead of our nice close ones we were getting. Yeah, but I would consider that to be it there. That's that's pretty good. So that's what you want. Just that little bit each side of the zero. And so we're at 4682 this time. 4682. Well, I can tell you off the top of my head that's 51. So there you go. Um, so it'd be the same thing, but you take your first position, 4735, and subtract the second position, 4682. Eagles, oh, 53. There you go. My brain wasn't working properly. <laughs> so inwards, I have a 53. Um, because it's a positive number, that's your inwards number. And that's it. That's how you do it. Um, you can then go, if you trust these, um, like I said, I don't trust them at the moment because of my sky conditions. Um, but really, only one one between them. I wouldn't trust that. I wouldn't trust that at all. <laughs> um, so what you could do then, of course, is go into your settings and into your focuser and enter those figures in here um, but pretty much mine saying they cancel each other out basically uh, so they're not going to make much difference to anything and like I said I don't trust it in them in the at the moment um, so I'm not going to set them in there I might go back in and reset my final inward move and I know now that I can have a small one because it's only showing 50 so I'll set this at 100 so it doesn't take forever to get a final inwards move and select OK but that's done um, I'm happy with that that looks just about spot on again actually and as you see it's just popping each side but that's how you use button of aid with a button of mass to measure your backlash and the good advantage of this is one it's visual if you have a still night this can be very very accurate um, so because of the mechanical representation of it and everything and unlike a lot of other things you can actually easily measure the um, backlash in both directions um, there are other methods within APT you can use but none of them measure it in both directions except by doing it manually like this so I think that's just about the perfect focus point. I'd be able to image all night on that one. I wonder if the skies are clearing outside. Um, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a bit of entertainment here. I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna go to the satellite images we get here. Uh, the bomb. Uh, we get satellite images from Himawari. Satellite images explore the images now so this is the current cloud condition over Australia uh, I want to show coastals and boundaries and infrared and are here for this one so then it loads up okay so it's, I'm, I'm just in a bit of a oh yeah I'm in a bit of a, a lull here at the moment um, just let this come into focus I live around here so there's still more cloud coming as you can see a few storms and that around the place um, but which way has the cloud been moving? This has actually moved up from when I had a look earlier. It was down around here and I was wondering whether it had hit me. So we'll just have a quick play back through the last couple of hours. Yeah, it's, oh, I might get a bit of time tonight. I don't know whether the skies will be clear enough and, and stable enough for imaging, but they may well be. But that's that's where I get my satellite image and this weather here has been what it's been like for the last three months we are quite annoying okay so I'll get out of that now and get back into this sorry if I've gone way off topic there even my guiding starting to settle down I've been having a lot of problems with that as well but uh, that's it for this um, I hope you found it helpful I personally think this is the best way under good sky conditions to find your backlashes 
uh, both in and out. And I think this is, for me, the best way. Oh, just one thing before I go, make sure that in your tools tab, your information in here is correct. Uh, the camera will probably be filled in automatically by APT anyway, but make sure your focal length and scope diameter are correct um, because Spartan of Mars use that to calculate. And remember that your focal length has to include anything you have that alters it. So if you use a reducer, you need to include um, to adjust your focal length for that. And like I said, mine's a 714 millimeter. Um, and if it uses a 0.8 like I'm got going now, when I do my uh, plate solving, it will come up with uh, 560. So that's it. But um, make sure they're correct, otherwise none of this will work anyway. <laughs> there you go. But uh, yeah, oh, now my guiding's just gone all over to hell again. I don't know what's going on out there. <laughs> Might be a bit of wind coming up now. But I'll say clear skies, everyone. Um, of course, close it and it'll tell you to take off your button of mask. Um, I'll leave live view running for the fun of it now. Um, but I'll see you all in the next video. Take care all and I'll see you later.